We start in downtown Grand Rapids tonight where streets are also shut down and there are evacuations after major flooding in a downtown building and what's become a potentially dangerous situation. We had uh, high enough explosive limits that with a proper ignition source, you know, we could get a flash fire or something like that. I got a phone call that I needed to hurry up, get back to the ramp because my car was almost underwater. Gas from the submerged cars has now flooded the water and firefighters are being very careful out there. 24-hour News 8's Marley Ginter is anchoring our live team coverage right now from downtown Grand Rapids. Marley, what is happening around you at this moment? Well, Sue, you are looking at a very hectic afternoon here in downtown Grand Rapids. Now, I'm standing at the corner of Ionia and Fulton, and you can see the road is blocked off right here. Basically, everywhere that I'm surrounded now, you will see emergency crews set up out here right now, trying to make sure that everyone is being safe out here. Several roads shut down in downtown Grand Rapids. We want to put up a map right now so you get an idea of exactly what you're headed into. I know a lot of people are starting to leave work, ready to head home. This is what you're looking at. These are the streets shut down. Portions of Ionia from Fulton to Monroe Center and portions of Lewis here between Ionia and Ottawa are still closed down right now again because they're taking every precaution, making sure they get the flooding out of the basement and that they do it safely. Again, a water pipe has broken at the bottom of a garage out here, a parking ramp out here, flooding several cars that were in this. And we want to go over to 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker right now. She's just a block from me where she's keeping an eye on things there. Yeah, Marley, I want to get you up to date on what we just found out. I just spoke to a fire official. He told me the power has been turned off. Now we're waiting for trucks to come in so they can pump out this water. They should be here any minute. In fact, they should have already been here, so we're just waiting for them to arrive. The issue is the water that's inside also contains gas from the cars, and the concern is there could be a flash fire. So that's why we don't want that to happen. We want to get this water out of here safely, waiting for those trucks to come in and pump that out. I asked the uh, spokesperson from the fire department when all of this will be over. Here's what he said. These are situations that don't happen every day, um, so it's hard to say how long. Again, until we know the size of the basement and the extent of, of what's all down there. I know there is a generator down there, uh, natural gas fed, that uh, you know, those things all have to be taken into account. So just a little bit too early to give any uh, estimates. So. Cleaned up tonight for sure. Maybe, uh, maybe not till tomorrow. Maybe not till tomorrow. There you go. Maybe not until tomorrow. Still very active scene down here. We're going to stay on top of this and bring you all the latest. Marley. Heather, thank you so much. We have several crews out here in downtown Grand Rapids right now monitoring the situation very closely. We have another crew right now who has also been speaking with a lot of the people who had their cars in that garage, cars that got flooded. And of course, they found out when it was too late in order to get to their cars and try to get their cars out of there. So a very hectic scene right now in downtown Grand Rapids as they've been trying to get this situation under control. We will be out here bringing you live coverage and live interviews throughout the next hour and a half. Let's toss it back to you, Sue. Okay, Marley, I'm trying to get a handle on whether or not they're they're going to the, the level of danger right now. They're, they're concerned about a possible flash fire in this situation. They have turned off the power. They're going to pump out that water. Are they talking about more evacuations other than the restaurant in that area, or do they think they have it contained and under control right now? Well, at this point, what we're hearing is they're just trying to make sure that everything is contained and under control. So they're just trying to get everybody to stay out of this area right now so, so that emergency crews can do what they need to do. From what we're hearing, they're trying to get crews in there to be able to pump all of this water out and into tankers to get it out of this area safely. Because as you can imagine, once gas leaked into that water from vehicles that were down there in this ramp, that, of course, became a concern. So they want to get this water out into tankers and out of this area safely. So that's what we're going to be looking for within the next few hours. Okay, Marley, we'll continue to check back. Thank you.